creating a first home, importing a blueprint. Okay, blueprint, it's optional, but what it is, it's a floor plan that you might have existing from somewhere such as uh, the council or from a real estate website or some other thing. And the floor plan acts as a background image on your document that you can use to trace walls around. And it just makes it a lot easier. You don't really need it, but I'm gonna show you how to import one anyway. Now you can get floor plans from many places, for example, like you can go to your favorite search engine and you can type in floor plan. And you can look at the images. And there's a whole bunch of floor plans. And I can just say, get one of these and say copy the image and import it into the background or i could go to well there's many places but I'm, but i already have one pre-created so i'm going to just import that so the trick is go to plan top left up to up here and go import background image okay so i'm going to choose the image now and i already have this image created so it is called floor extension.jpg i'm going to open that Okay, so if we cr open that up a little bit, and this is a this is the floor plan of the house that I'm going to build in this series of tutorials. Now, I got this image from my local council. Well, an image very similar to it, and then I've just gone into Photoshop and I've just sort of messed around with it a little bit and adjusted a few things and made it to something that is not too distracting, but something I can look at. And this is the walls of my boundaries. So I can press continue there. Now, what you get down here is a, it's like a scale or a verbatim or something. And what you can do is you put it on, say one point, say that point there, and then I'll put on another point that I know the measurement of. And I happen to know that the length of those two points in the real world is 1,300 centimeters. So that's the length of the line, 1,300 centimeters. Now, if your plan is written in feet or something else, you probably have to just convert it to centimeters or set your preferred, yeah, your preferred units in their preferences, file preferences. Okay, so that is 1,300 centimeters. Press continue. Okay, so now I want an origin point, a point where I want zero, zero to be on my plan. So that's the dot there. I'm just going to drag it along and I'm going to use just, uh, I'm going to use this point here, just right top left there. Excellent. So that's time to finish. Okay, so now if I look at my plan view, we can see that there's a sort of a, a light version of it just in the background that I can use to start a bit like a drawing on a paper. Now I could have done that many different ways. I could have drawn that by hand. I could have run around my house with my tape measure and just just measured stuff and then drew it on a piece of paper. But uh, no, I already have something prepared. But uh, and once again, it's optional. But that's that's uh, and you can see if I look at the rulers there, the zero and the zero. That's the origin point. I'm using control and, and the mouse wheel here to scroll in. We can see, well, it's not perfect, but it's, it's actually good enough. And I guess if I don't like that image and I want to use something else, I can always go to back to plan. I can go modify background image, hide background image, delete background image. That's all pretty good. And it's now time to start drawing walls.